trying to help you. On the table, there's so another much. nut. Can you hand it yeah. to me, please? Okay. Yeah, I, I was just driving the yard. Okay, this is our homemade bearing press. Yeah. We're just going to use a piece of all thread and a nut. This side right here, all it is is just basically a brace, and then this side is actually fitted under the bearing. As we twist down, it's going to force the bearing into place. Like that. Yep. I'll hold this, Tommy. Just right. work it. You're not gonna be able to hold that. No, sure. No, I mean, just I'm lining it up. He's lining That's it up. Okay. Here. I'll just hold it. No, I didn't mean that. I just meant I'm gonna hold it like this. Pull that in. Hey, Keith. Tell John to bring me some tasty apples. Okay. Back. Okay, here we go. We're going to crank it into place. It's moving. Well, yeah, it's going. Okay. That's good. Yep, I don't know. What do they have at the shop to do this, Tom? They have something a little more automated? We actually had a bearing press we bought at work. It's just a, a press that when it puts enough pressure, you know, it'll release. It'll push it down so far. You'd use like a, a socket or a spacer. Uh -huh. And then when it hit the bottom, it would stop. It wouldn't over, you know. It wouldn't over. Yeah, it wouldn't over. Crank it. Yeah. Crank it, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. We just have to do it by feel on this one. Right, yeah. We had a kind of a yeah, you don't want to you know, crush the bearing. I think it was bearing. a 40, 40 ton bearing press we had. 40 ton? Yeah. Is that right? Well, I mean, we had big 100 horsepower uh, pumps that were sure. motors and stuff to have to press bearings in and out. Snot rockets? Oh, okay. That takes a big bearing, a snot rocket. I had, uh, when I worked for Shulman, I ran the samples for and I had a big uh, Banbury uh, compounding unit and had a, uh, a 3,000 hour electric motor and I had a guy working for me at night. He did something, he left the power on, he burned up the 3,000 hour motor. Mm -hmm. And I said, I had the electrician say, hey, your guy just, but they couldn't fire him because he was union. Yeah. They're, they're URWs. Yeah. TJ, what'd you do? I, I damn done, uh, I burned up the motor. I said, no, oh, that was not. Right. It's going good, Tom. Just now it's going to be a guessing game. Yeah, I'm going to hit the bottom. Out. Should bottom when, out. When you feel resistance, you're going to be, yeah. it, it's yeah. bottoming out okay. now, I can tell. Yeah, okay. Good. Okay. This is the way you do it hillbilly you style, and it works. I have questions with the, the uh, seals for the water pump. Remember you asked yep. about this and I showed it to you? Mm -hmm. That's the same setup I used. Okay. These are not Timpkin roller bearings. These are cheap ball bearings. That's why they don't put ball bearings in a car wheel. They yeah. put tapered roller now bearings. Now see, is that even close to round anymore? They're actually shattered in half. Oh, once They're they, once they shattered, they just got distorted. Yep. Yeah. That was that noise you heard right there, Aaron. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> it's all in plastic. I don't think we make polymers that tough. Mm. They will though. Tapered really? roller bearings, Timpkin. That's what made Timpkin famous. I always. That's what I always put in cars yeah. and stuff. Timpkin roller bearings. Yeah. Is that what you bought? Are these Timpkin that he bought for these? No, okay, I, I didn't. No, I, I didn't think, think they make them for this. No, Timpkin. All right, get the Gorilla Glue out. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna. Holy shit! Thanks. What? We're gonna gouge it. Look at the inside of that. Oh, let's put that in the light. Look you at know, this. Tom, that could be from a number. Once it fails, you know, it's hard to say. Uh, See that? Then it was distorted after it probably failed. Oh, it doesn't matter when it happens. It's just, yeah. It's pretty bad. That's know? a damaged bearing, I'd say. Oh, yeah. You did the right thing calling. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. It's an ORS bearing. 12, 12, 6204, 2RS, G93, C3. Those are probably inner and outer dimensions and thickness and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Okay, just the same thing we did on the other side, we're going to yep. do on this side. Yep, just like that.
Probably won't even need to go to the dealer anymore. You're watching all this. You'll just do it yourself next time, probably. <laughs> the dude is pretty hard work. Clearly yeah. need some more tools than what I had. Oh yeah, I'll have to admit, Ledoud really did uh, help us out a lot on this with his videos. He helped me put my top box on. I yeah. I, I made the uh, bracket out of wood. Careful, it's sharp. Yeah, it cut me too. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Keith carries insurance on that place. Oh, yeah. so. Yeah, I can do that. You want me to face it towards you? Just you? keep tightening it a little bit until it grips on it. And I'm tightening now. Okay, that's it. You all right? Yeah. Okay. Just tell me when to go. Well, that fucker's going in. That's really nice. Hot butter. Yeah. Okay, I'm feeling resistance now. Already? Yeah. Yeah. So you should be seated. I think it might be seated, Tom. Okay. I don't want to go too hard. Let's take it back out. I don't know my own strength. I might mm. really rip it up. I got it. I got to shoot the distance. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Sound good to me, bro. No, you're going to have to do it because this is where we cut oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's all goofed up on the end there. Oh, is that bad? That's where yeah. I cut it. I'm kind of thinking about another hour. We're going to have a Bergman back on the road. I don't think it'll even be an hour. Yeah. Okay, you done? Yeah. It's definitely in.